Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Snow is slowly winding down across northern parts of the Gulf, including around Haines and Skagway. A ridge of high pressure building in will start to draw a little more air off of southeast, and uh, things will be drying up. A little bit of sunshine reaching central and southern parts of southeast mid-afternoon today. A look further north, though, shows that is not the case across the north slope. Areas of light snow continuing all the way from Shishmaref to Kotzebue and down along the south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range to Arctic Village and even into the middle and upper Yukon Valley. The north slope areas of fog and flurries there. A little bit of blowing snow across the Chukchi Sea at 1,022 millibars. High pressure pushing cold north winds down through the Bering Strait and towards St. Lawrence Island. But the good news is that ice has been filling in substantially over the last week there. So not a lot of open water now over the Chukchi or the Bering Strait or all the way down to St. Lawrence Island. So great news there and reducing the freezing spray threat that has been upon you for oh, about a week or so ago now. As a look out to the west, low pressure is lining up a series of fronts working across the central and western chain, each one of those bringing a round of rain and a little bit of wind at the central and western chain, followed quickly by snow and some wind. Across the Gulf, a 980 millibar low is pushing a front northward, closer and closer to southeast. On the north side of this, we'll be moving waves from east to west, so some of those passing through the northern Gulf Coast, uh, the Kenai Peninsula, Prince William Sound, Kodiak Island, and the Alaska Peninsula. Each one of those will be uh, able to bring up the wind a little bit more, increase the seas, and also bring another round of snow and rain showers, especially along the coastline. Now, many along the Cook Inlet region will probably not see a lot of precipitation in the next couple days, but it will be all around over the Alaska Range, over the Kenai Mountains, the Talkeetnas, and southward. And a look across the interior shows pretty cold weather there. A lot of clear skies overnight and a few passing clouds from time to time, especially to your south. But generally speaking, temperatures will be at some of their coldest levels of the season, especially as we move into the darkest period of the year, quickly followed by uh, slowly increasing daylight as we get into your Saturday and your Sunday passing the winter solstice. A look up to the north shows that wind will still be an issue, though, across the Bering Strait. Blowing snow may be your largest threat as some of that colder north wind pushes quickly through the Bering Strait. Snow showers are expected to continue around Nunavak Island and parts of Bristol Bay as we go into your Saturday. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.